Hi, this is Mick with Wehali Bushcraft. We're here in near Atlanta, Georgia on the Chattahoochee River. Uh, it's a beautiful place. We're going to shoot some video today and, uh, and do a few bushcrafty type things. So uh, stay with me. I hope you enjoy it. Here we see some deer tracks. There's one, there's the other. There's a really good one right here, real deep. So the deer are probably coming down here to drink. And I can see the tracks moving off to here and here. Hey. So let's try an experiment. We're going to use this magnifying glass and some sunlight and this leaf. Uh, I'm not going to start a full fire for you. I'm just going to get this thing going and show you how easy it is when you get the, the conditions just right, which today is good conditions. So here's the leaf, here's the magnifying glass. And you can see immediately I've got smoke. I mean, this thing is like a laser beam today. There's a, a little bit of a flame coming off. It's, it's more of a challenge, I promise you, to actually start a fire. But with, with these ingredients on a day like today, it's good. The reason it works so well on a day like today is the sun is still high. There's nothing to block the sunlight. It's low humidity. So the sun is coming down really good and hard, and it's being focused really um, efficiently and effectively with this lens, and uh, you see the result. What I've got here is a really dry stick, and my magnifier, and the sun. And uh, you can see I, I got smoke almost immediately. The same amount of sunlight focused on different materials, some will burn very quickly like this dry stick, and others will take forever. I used, um, I tried this on flip-flops, and they burned readily, just like this stick. I've tried it on lichens, they don't burn, at least not the ones I picked. And your smoke. And this is just rotten wood. Good dry from a dead tree standing. It's spongy and soft. And it catches pretty quick. big black hole there and it's still smoking. A wasp nest or something else that's very dry and and uh, easily combusted will also be useful here.
Oh yeah, here we go. See how quick it's smoking through? bamboo. Bamboo is just a kind of grass, and uh, but it's tall and it's tough. I, uh, I think this would be a really good fishing pole if we were to cut it, which I'm not going to. Um, but I've heard that this stuff is so tough that uh, a stand of it was blooming just a few days after the bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. So if you can believe that, you know, Feeling this thing, boy, it really feels tough, so maybe it's true. This is a water oak leaf, and it's hard to see on this one, but the, imagine what a duck's foot looks like. This kind of has a shape like a duck's foot, and ducks like the water. So water oak and duck's foot is a way to remember this.